surgery room. Well, no, not the surgery room. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I am in the hospital right now. Um, waiting for the doctor to call me in. And yeah, I'm gonna get rid of this thing from my hand because I've had it for a long time. Um, kind of nervous because I hate surgeries, but we'll see. Um, I know that everything's gonna go well, so yeah. <sighs> Just so I lied. But yeah, talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, it's Ava back again with another video. So today I will be talking about this um, and actually what happened to my hand. Um, so let's just get straight into the video. Of my pictures, I try to hide it. In my videos, you can't really tell, but I had a ganglion cyst and I'm going to put the definition here. Of what it is pretty much so I had a ganglion cyst for about two years and um, honestly I didn't talk much about it because one it didn't really hurt and two it would go away right it would go away come back go away come back and um, this time around it actually stayed and me I'm clumsy I would always hit it on the wall or hit it somewhere and that would make it really hurt um, so I recently went to the doctor and pretty much in order for me to get rid of it, I had to get surgery. So I've had surgery before in the past and um, every time I went to surgery, I've gotten anesthesia. Now, anesthesia scares me because, you know, I'm sleeping, but a lot of complications can happen. This time around, I did not get anesthesia. I got local, but that pretty much means that Everything I'm doing is on my own. I'm breathing on my own um, heart. Everything is on my own, right? I'm not like in any sedated type of state or anything like that. So I had my surgery this Tuesday and um, it was nerve wracking because one, since we are still within COVID restrictions, uh, no one could have been there with me. So my mom wasn't there, my sister wasn't there. No one could have been with me. So I was pretty much there by myself. Um, and it was nerve wracking because I had my surgery, I was supposed to have my surgery at 9.30 a.m. Now, I did not go into the uh, operating room until probably like five to 10 minutes to 1 p.m. So imagine being in a place where it's just you and the nurses, no one else, bad reception. <laughs> Um, I was super, super anxious because I'm just by myself and I, I don't know what's taking so long. Um, but when I did the surgery, honestly, um, they asked me, oh, you know, we're going to prep you, we're going to clean you and, um, do you want, you know, anesthesia, uh, or, you know, to kind of be in a, like a, a small sedation, but not small sedation, but in a sense of I'm breathing, but I'm still asleep. Um, and you know, I told them no. The reason why I told them no was when they first was putting the IV in my hand and you can't really like tell or see on my hand, but um, they were having a lot of problems with putting the IV in my hand. And that was kind of like a strike for me because when he put the IV needle in, no blood was coming out. Mind you, obviously I have blood, but no blood was coming out. And that was very weird to me. That's never happened to me before. Uh, when I go to the, doc the doctor, they're always able to find my veins and get blood. But this time around, it took him three to four times to really get the um, IV needle to go in and then for blood to actually come out. And that kind of scared me. So when I got to the operating room, the guy asked me, do you want anesthesia do you want to be more relaxed and I told him no because I felt like okay you know I'm a Christian I believe in God but things happen right you know sometimes there are complications and I said okay they were having problems early with this hand with my IV needle and what if they were to give me that you know that anesthesia and something were to go wrong so I said no and um, they cleaned, they cleaned my hand first, 
with like some solution and then uh, they did a second cleaning, um, I guess to get rid of all the bacteria and things like that. And before my doctor actually did any work, he uh, put like a numbing medication uh, in the area where the cyst was. So to, because you can't really see my hand, the cyst was right here. The cyst was right here in this area, um, but on my left hand. And he put the numbing medication around it and that pretty much numbed it and I was pretty okay with everything. Uh, when he started cutting my skin, obviously I can feel him doing something, but it's not, it's no type of pain. Um, the only part that I actually felt dur through, during the entire surgery was when he um, actually squeezed the cyst out. That's when I felt a little like nudge, but again, it didn't hurt. Um, I wasn't in any type of pain and um, they were really, really surprised because they said that, you know, a lot of people that are older than me um, would come in and they would be crying and it's so much pain. I took it like a champ and yeah, my surgery was really, really quick. Even though I waited quite a long time, the surgery was, I would say, no more than probably 35, 40 minutes. Um, so honestly, that was one of the weirdest but good experiences that I've had with the surgery um, of not having no type of anesthesia and I was on literally a table. <laughs> on a table with no anesthesia and um, I thank God that my surgery went well. So currently I just have my hand in a bandage, can't get it wet or anything like that. I try to elevate my fingers from time to time and I kind of do this just to keep like the blood flow going so that my hands won't get like cramped up like this all the time. I have to keep it elevated so I'm thinking about getting a sling but I really don't want to but I just go like that uh, throughout the day just to kind of like make sure that you know nothing's nothing's going on i'm not getting any type of blood clots anything like that um so this is pretty much what i do right um so all right here is bandaged up I, again i can't get it wet um this is going to be on for five days today is day number oops <laughs> tuesday wednesday thursday day number three so today is day number three and um well when you receive this it'll be day number four so by saturday i may i'll be able to take it off but i think i'll leave it on until sunday just to you know be extra cautious and honestly once i take it off there is another uh bandage underneath this um but it's only on my wrist area and it's a waterproof bandage so that one i leave on for another week um just because my doctor said he doesn't want me to get any type of inflammation or have any big scarring or anything like that so um it's it's gonna be another band-aid underneath there and that one i can get wet all right so this is what i use um, while i'm in the shower so i take a plastic bag and i put it in my hand like like this and then i just wrap it I wrap it like that and make sure my hands kind of like able to move and then I take two I take two scrunchies and I put one here and put one here at the bottom and that's how I like take a shower with it so that it doesn't get wet or anything like that um so yeah I do have some medication and again that's for pain if I am in any type of pain right now I'm not in no pain. Um, I just, again, elevate my my fingers and I move it around. But um, overall, my surgery was a good experience, um, even though I waited quite some time. But having no anesthesia in a surgery, um, major surgery at that, and they, just, they said I did a really good job. Like I was super awake, um, no type of pain, no type of nausea, no side effects and nothing like that. And super grateful, super happy. So um, yeah, that's my story of me getting my hand surgery with no anesthesia. Um, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And talk to you guys soon. Bye.